Hey guys, today's video is going to be a three looks one palette with the brand new Nomad Cosmetics Verona Amore e Morte palette. This is actually my first ever Nomad palette. I've heard so many great things about this brand. I received this palette in PR and I thought we could test it out together. So this palette actually launches today, the day that this video comes out, Tuesday, January 24th. I am not 100% sure on the price of this, but I think it's going to be $44 if it's the same as the other palettes they make in this layout. So Nomad Cosmetics is an indie brand that focuses on destination-inspired palettes. So of course this palette is based on Verona, Italy, and I was actually just reading on their website that all of their palettes are designed on location. So this palette was designed in Verona so that they were really able to capture the beauty and the feel of that location, which I thought was super cool. So this palette has two sides to it and you can open them up individually or together. So the first side is the Amore side, which has lots of pinks and reds. I think this is going to be perfect for some Valentine's Day looks. And then we have the Morte side over here, which has a bunch of cool tones, some grays and blues and purples. So for this video, we're going to do three looks. Look number one is going to feature this side. Look number two, which is actually the look I'm wearing right now, is going to feature this side. And then look number three, we're going to combine both sides together. So here's a close-up of the palette. And one thing I wanted to point out that I thought was really cool, because I don't think I've ever seen a brand do this, but every shade has a different imprint in it that corresponds with the name of the shade. So like Tomb has a literal tomb, Inferno has a flame, Cupid has a little baby Cupid in it. So I just thought that was such a cool touch and I imagine that that is not easy to do so I just thought it was pretty cool that they went to that extra effort. So for look number one I wanted to use the Amore side of the palette, the pink and red side. I actually want to start out by dipping into the shade Love, this bright red color. I'm going to take that shade on an angled liner brush and with this shade I want to do a really sharp winged liner. All right, so the wings are on. That shade went on really bright. I like it though. I actually think I wanna take a little bit of this darker red quill on that same brush and focus that a little bit closer to my lash line. I'm not really bringing it up any higher. I'm just kind of using it to define the lash line. All right, then I'm gonna dip into this matte light pink shade, Paradise. And that is going to be my inner corner highlight. Next shade I'm going to use is Cupid. It's this really pretty pink and blue duochrome. And that I'm just going to tap all across my lid. And I'm also letting that overlap a little bit with this red liner right here in the center. I'm actually taking a little bit more of Quill, the darker red, and tracing that just along this lower part of my wing. I just wanna add a little bit more depth and dimension to this wing. Also taking some more of Cupid on this little brush to see if it picks up on a brush and patting that on top of this pink in the inner corner actually it's not picking up super well on a brush i'm just gonna use my pinky sometimes this this sort of like chunky shimmer type of shadow just applies better with a finger yeah that cupid shade is really pretty it has like a wet iridescent sort of sparkle to it that is very fun. All right, I finished off the look with some mascara and my lip combo is actually just my Project Pan lip products, my CoverGirl lipstick in Honeyed Bloom and my Nude by Nature gloss in Tea Rose on top. I actually decided I wanna add this light blue liner. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Chill Blue. I, wanted to, I just wanna add a little bit of that to my waterline. So there we have it, that is look number one. 
very different sort of look for me, but I think this would make such a cute Valentine's Day look. I know that's still like a few weeks away, but it doesn't hurt to plan ahead. Really fun look. I, I love a red winged liner. I think it is one of the most underrated colors for winged liner and it looks so bold and it just makes such a statement. So yeah, really loving this first look. So of course, look number two is going to feature the Morte side of this palette. I might be even more excited to play with this side than the other side. The shimmers over here, especially these two, look stunning. I have swatched them both and they are both even shiftier and more dimensional than you would think just looking at them in the pan. So to start out this look, I'm gonna dip into Dagger and that's gonna be my crease color. Okay, that shade went on really well. Next, I'm gonna dip into the shade Poison, this nice deep navy color with a smudge brush. And I'm just going to start by smudging that in this outer corner of my upper lash line. Going back and forth between each eye. And next, I'm just gonna slowly start blending that slightly upward, creating kind of a smudgy, smoky wing here. But I want the most pigment to be right there close to my lash line. Everything else is getting just kind of blended and diffused upward. All right, so I'm switching from that smudge brush to a pencil brush now because I want to get even more of a precise point with this shade. And I'm not picking up any additional shadow on this brush just yet, but I'm just kind of using this to further blend this into that smoky, smudgy wing that I'm going for. Then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that navy shadow. And I'm just gonna keep going until I am happy with the result, little by little. On a smaller crease brush, I'm gonna dip into Tomb, this light gray, and I'm just gonna blend some of that into like this inner part of my crease. I just wanna see what that does. Yeah, nice and cool. Yeah, I'm just kind of putting that in my inner half of my crease, blending it into the purple a little bit. And then with that same brush, I'm taking a little bit more of Dagger and just applying a little bit more of that to this outer crease and blending it upward. All right, so now for these two shimmers, I'm gonna dip into Tragedy down here. This, it looks like just a straight kind of purple shimmer in the pan, but take a look at this shade. It actually has like a green gold flip to it. I feel like the camera's not even quite picking up that shift that I'm talking about, but Let's go ahead and apply this to my eyes. This I'm going to put in the center of my lid and the outer third. I'm gonna overlap it with the navy, but I do still wanna let a lot of that navy still show through. I'm just kind of overlapping it with the very edge. All right, then I'm gonna dip into the shade Morse, which is like a silver and gold duochrome. I love that type of shade. And that I'm going to tap in my inner third. And then bringing it to overlap slightly with the purple shimmer. These shimmers are so pretty. This is a very unique texture. It's really nice and creamy, but at the same time it's can feel that it's kind of hard pressed and it's not as flaky as it looks in the pan. Like it's not, you kind of look at these shimmers and think that they're gonna be flaky and messy, but they're really not. They hold together really well, but they pack quite a punch. I like that I can build these shimmers up quite a bit and they don't ever start to look thick and wrinkly. Going back to my small crease brush, I'm just kind of blending along the edge there with no additional shadow. 
on my lower lash line, I'm going to use this third shimmer here that we haven't used yet. This is the shade Juliet. More of a metallic shimmer rather than a, like a chunky, sparkly shade like the other two that we just used. I kind of just want to see what that does on my lower lash line. Okay, nice. Picking up a little bit more of Morse with my pinky and applying that to my inner corner for a bit of a highlight. Going back to that smudge brush that I started with, picking up just a little bit more poison and I'm just gonna apply that to the very outer corner of my lower lash line and connect it with that wing on the top. And on the lips, I went with just a cool toned nude. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in Skinny Dipping. Wow, okay. This lip right here has me sold on this palette. Look number one was really fun, but this look, I just feel like there is no palette in my collection where I could have gotten this exact look, you know? And when I first saw this side of the palette, I was like, that's not really, I'm probably not gonna get a whole lot of use out of that side. But now, this is probably going to be my favorite side of the palette. Honestly, for these two shimmers alone right here, like these two shimmers, unbelievable. And there are very few palettes in my collection that have a navy blue like this. And I love the way that pairs with the gold, with the purples. Wow. So that is look number two with the Morte side of the palette. I love this look. I love it so much. I don't want to take it off, but I have to take it off so I can do look number three. <laughs> All right, so as I said, for look number three, we're gonna use both sides of the palette. I'm gonna try to dip into as many of the shades that I haven't used yet as possible while still somehow <laughs> trying to create a cohesive look. So let's just see what we come up with. I'm gonna start with this shade called Light here, this matte coral. This looks really bright. And I'm going to apply that to my crease, especially my outer crease. very pigmented. I just took the smallest dab of that shade on both sides and it packed quite a punch and now I'm just kind of blending that out from there. That shade is blending so well. I'm just putting that in the crease. I'm not really bringing it down to the outer corner a whole lot. I'm just going to take Rose, this hot pink and I'm gonna put some of that in more of like the inner part of my crease. I think these shades are gonna look similar next to each other, but. Then I'm gonna dip into Paradise, this light pink, and just use that to blend these shades out. All right, venturing over here to the side of the palette, I'm gonna grab some of Dark, this deep, bur like vampy burgundy shade. And that I'm gonna put in my outer corner. I'm kind of wedging that up into the crease and bringing it up to meet with the hot pink. Back with my crease brush with no additional product on it, just blending all of that together. I am so impressed with how well these shadows are blending. All right, so next for this comedy shade, this shade is so fun. That is just gonna go all over my lid. From inner corner to the center. Wow. All right, I actually wanna take some of Tragedy here and just kind of tap that in the center just a little bit of it in between the coral and the deep burgundy matte. I feel like that was a little too much purple. I'm gonna pick up some more of comedy. Wait, I just realized something. I just realized something. Each shade has its opposite name on the other side of the palette. So we have light, dark, comedy, tragedy, quill, dagger, Rose, Poison, Love, Death, Romeo, Juliet. You, you see where I'm going? I just realized that. 
That's so cool. Okay, cool. I don't know why it took me that long to realize that, but that's pretty cool. Just gonna tap a little bit more of comedy. Ooh, wait a minute. Kind of putting that on top of where I put tragedy. And it's making a really cool color. Okay, yeah, that's super cool. I love how layerable these shimmers are. Like you can just keep layering and layering until the cows come home. <laughs> and they keep just becoming more and more dimensional the more you add on. And I also have to say, I've gotten very little fallout from these shimmers. And I think it's because even though they have sort of like a textured, almost chunky look in the pan, they're nice and tightly packed, but at the same time, they have a creamy sort of feel to them when you touch them. But the the shade stays together really nicely. It's not it's not getting flaky. It's not crumbling as you apply it. So yeah, so far, really big fan of these shimmers. I think their shimmer formula is kind of unlike anything else I've tried. All right, I have to say this shade right here is probably one of my favorites in the palette though. This Moore's Moore's shade or Morse. I'm gonna pick that up on a small detail brush and. You know what? Never mind. These shimmers do pick up better with a finger than with a brush. I'm just going to take some of that on my pinky and tap that in my inner corner. All right, going back to my crease brush, the one I started with, and blending, blending, blending. I'm picking up a little bit more of dark and smudging that just in this outer part of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to dip into dagger. Also, my fingernails look gross. It's because I have eyeshadow underneath them. I need to get some makeup remover up under there and get it out. But next I'm going to pick up some of Dagger, this lighter dusty purple. Put that in the center of my lower lash line. Actually just bringing that all the way in to the front. So I'm trying to use as many of these shades as I can. Didn't think I was going to do this, but then I'm going to pick up some of Romeo. Does that pick up well on a brush? So just kind of Oh, that's very pink. Just applying some of that on top. That's very hot pink, okay. I was kind of hoping to see more of that purple shift come through. Let me grab some of Cupid now. This light, more of like a topper shade. And top it with that. Alright, in order to blend everything, I'm picking up a little bit more of Paradise on my crease brush. And I'm kind of just blending that all the way up to my brow bone. So I feel like that's a light enough shade that I can just let it come all the way up here. And that way everything just kind of fades into nothing. I'm just gonna use some of my face powder to clean up out here. And a tiny bit up here and in here. I think I'm in love with this palette, you guys. I was not expecting to vibe with this color story as much as I have. Like, I'm not a big hot pink eyeshadow wearer. I do love pink, but hot pink is not usually my color of choice for eyeshadow. But I, I think I'm a changed woman. All right, so on the lips, I ended up going with a soft coral. I'm wearing the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in Happy. And then I topped that with the Urban Decay Vice Lip, Sh what the heck is this called? Plumping Shine Balm in My Dude. It was a lot easier than I thought to create a look using both sides. For some reason, I was thinking it would be really hard to coordinate shades from either side because the side is obviously very warm and pink and the side is very cool and like grayish purple. But I love this look so much and I feel like everything blended together so well. All right, so to wrap this up with some final thoughts. Number one, the number one thing that I judge a palette on is the shimmers and the shimmers in this palette did not disappoint. They are, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I think they speak for themselves here on my lid, but like they are sparkly. They are really expensive looking. They have a very smooth sheen to them, but at the same time, those shimmer particles, they have a few different size particles in there to really give it that high-end glimmer, almost like a 3D sparkle, that sort of crushed glitter sort of look. Just beautiful texture to these shimmers, really, really love those. And honestly, when I first opened this palette, I thought, eh, you know, it's a fun and, and interesting color story, but it didn't really seem like something that I 
would get a lot of use out of because, I mean, these are not shades that I work with all the time. But after doing these three looks, I am so excited to keep playing with this palette. As I always say, I feel like I barely scratched the surface. There are so many more looks that I could do with this. It's a great out of my comfort zone palette that also feels easy to use. Like, I didn't have any trouble blending these shades. The mattes in here, even though they are really bright and pigmented, they, I, I didn't have to work very hard to get them to blend on my eyes. So I would say that this is a great colorful palette for someone who's kind of on an intermediate level when it comes to colorful shadows. Like if you're really new to color and you want something that is just gonna give you like a light, subtle wash of color, this is probably not gonna be your friend. But if you wanna delve into some really bright, saturated colors, that are going to be easy to work with, I I think this palette would be a great one to check out. And I have a fairly sizable palette collection. I think I have something like 25 to 30 eyeshadow palettes in my collection, but I don't feel like I have anything similar to this in my collection. So I'm really excited about it. I love just the versatility that you get. I love the concept where there are two kind of opposing sides. I just think there are endless fun looks you can do with this. So, wow. My first experience with Nomad Cosmetics did not disappoint. I'm way more excited about this palette now than I was when I first looked at it because I just didn't even realize how much fun this would be to play with. I am so impressed with this, really. I'm excited to see what else Nomad Cosmetics does. They're kind of newly on my radar, especially now that I've tried this. I am, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on this brand because I think they make some really good eyeshadows. So let me know if you plan on picking up this palette. Are you gonna hold off? I definitely don't think that this palette is for everyone, just like any other palette. Um, you know, if you don't like bright, really uh, almost neon colors, you probably would wanna skip this one. But I really think that this palette has added a lot of shades and textures to my collection that I didn't already have. So I am very excited to keep playing with this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which of the three looks was your favorite? I think I'd have to say for me personally, look number two was my favorite, but I loved them all. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.